What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Aisha and I focus on making fashion and lifestyle content. I am currently pregnant and so all of my content has been related to my pregnancy. Today's video is going to focus on what is in my hospital bag. I am currently 36 weeks, which means I'm officially in my ninth month. And that means baby could be coming anytime now. If you're watching this because you are currently expecting, first of all, congratulations, and I hope this helps you. And if you are not expecting and just watching this for the fun of it, I hope you enjoy it, but let's get into it. So when I was starting to pack my hospital bag, I made sure to watch a bunch of these videos as well. But to be honest, some of them really gave me a lot of anxiety because of how much people overpacked. I am a very light packer to begin with. Even when I go on trips, I make sure to try to fit everything into my carry-on because I feel like that's just what works best for me. And that's the same concept and idea I kept for when I was packing my hospital bag. Now, when I was watching these videos, I came across a couple of them where they packed an entire separate bag for the baby, they packed an entire separate bag for themselves, and they also packed an entire separate bag for their partner. That is not how I function. I tried to keep things very minimal. So I have my bags at two most just because I think it'll make it easier for me and the way I function to make sure that I take all of these in the car and that I'm not forgetting anything. But I feel like I've rambled on enough, so let's get into it. Okay, so here is my hospital bag. And um, it's actually not a hospital bag. I'm not even sure if they make those, but this is called a weekender bag and I got it from Everlane. So this bag is actually supposed to be a travel bag. It fits perfectly over your luggage. And when I was looking for one to purchase, when I stumbled across this one, it kind of just ticked off everything that I wanted. It also matched my luggage perfectly, which I think I've already said. Um, and so then I made the go ahead to purchase it. This video will be divided into four categories based on what I'm gonna show you. So I will divide it into mom and partner's needs, baby needs, um, toiletries, as well as electronic items. So I found the best way to pack things away and to optimize space in my bag was to use these packing cubes. I've had these packing cubes for a while now. Um, I think I just purchased them off of Amazon and they're really easy to find, but this really helped me separate everything I needed to put in my bag and it kind of just contains everything in one space. So I would definitely suggest doing this if you are packing um, a hospital bag, but this is my mom and partner bag. So basically this is the bag that I have allocated for me and my husband. So in this cube right over here, it's mainly clothes that me and my husband would need. Again, it's more of my clothes, but I am the one giving birth and I feel like I would need more clothes than he would, but I still pack some for him. So right over here, starting off with myself, I have my going home outfit. So it's this tracksuit right over here. Wait, let me like put this away so I can properly show you guys. So I have a couple of options for my going home outfit based on what I feel comfortable in, but this is a lounge set that I got from Uniqlo and I've been wearing it at home. It's very comfy when I wear it at home, so I'm assuming after birth it will be comfy as well. Um, the only thing that I actually might switch out for is what I didn't realize is that this one is white and I actually really like this lounge set so I might swap it out for the gray one I have. I bought both, I bought a gray and I bought a white um, and I don't want to get this one dirty so I think I might swap it out for the gray one but this is one of the going home outfits I have. The next thing I packed was a pair of leggings. These are just the maternity leggings that I got from H&M and these are one of the comfiest things that I've worn in my pregnancy. Again, which made me think that they will be comfy for me after birth as well. But I made sure to pack leggings just to give myself a variety into the options that I had with clothing. So a couple of the expectant moms on the forums that I had read said that they preferred a nightgown over pants um, just because it made it easier for doctors to check up on everything. There wasn't a hassle of like putting on pants or anything. So I made sure to pack one in case that's the case, but um, I have my options. So I have leggings, I have a full on lounge set, and then I also have a nightgown. Again, these pants and like leggings can always be interchangeable. So I'm not worried about that. I'm also not too worried about looking like the best after giving birth. I just want to make sure I look put together and that I am in the most comfiest state. And I found that these three items really would do that for me. I also made sure to pack a couple of socks. I love wearing socks around the house and I know that I would probably want to wear them at the hospital as well. Um, so I packed a pair of long socks that goes all the way up to my calf, I think. And then I also packed um, a short pair of socks that goes up to my ankle. So I have a variety of socks as well. And then I also just packed myself an extra bra. 
Now my husband only really needed one thing to be packed in this, so I packed him a tracksuit outfit. It's just a lounge outfit. Again, I got this from Uniqlo as well. This is actually very comfy. I wear it sometimes because I got it for him in two different colors, and I wear the gray one around the house all the time. Um, but yeah, this lounge set was also from Uniqlo, and this is the one thing that he has packed in the clothing section of our hospital bag. So that was the first packing cube that I packed and it was more of a clothing packing cube. And just to summarize, we had a lounge set in there for myself. I had leggings, a nightgown, undergarments, socks, and a tracksuit for my husband. Okay, so here is the next packing cube and it's a lot smaller than my initial one just because baby things are a lot tinier. So it kind of worked out really well. So in here, the first thing I've packed is some diapers. I know the hospital will give us some, but I just want to make sure I have enough packed so that if we need extras, we do have them on hand. So I packed some diapers for him. I packed um, some wipes for him as well. I packed a very soft blanket for him as well. Um, this was a swaddle pack that I got from Carter's and it came in a pack of two. I just chose to pack one because I don't know why I would need two swaddles. So I just packed one for him um, and this was it. Moving on to clothing, I made sure to give him three options in terms of his coming home outfit just because I wasn't sure how big or small he would be. So I kind of packed a range of like clothing that I think will fit him regardless of what size he is, but I will show you what they are. So here I've packed a sleeper onesie. Again, this is on the bigger side. So if he is a chunkier baby, this is the one that he will be wearing. This is the next sleeper onesie that I packed. And again, it's um, in the medium size. So if he doesn't fit into the first one that I showed you guys, he'll fit into this one. And then for the last set, which is the smallest set, I packed a cord set. So here we have a small onesie and then we have its matching pants. Alongside all of those, I made sure to pack a hat as well as some socks. I chose to not pack mittens for him because all of the onesies that I have have those foldable mittens on top so there was no need for them but if your onesies don't have mittens on them um, I would suggest just packing mittens as well. So that's all I have for baby's needs. Now we're gonna jump back quickly to mom and partner's needs because everything else that I have in here is related to mom and partner. Here I have packed some sandals. This looks like a baguette or some type of bread, um, but no, there are two sandals. So this is the first pair of slippers that I have packed. Now these are not the slippers I wear at home. I actually bought new ones and luckily I found these on sale and the best part about them is that they are washable. So once I come back from the hospital, I can actually throw them in the wash and all the germs will be gone. And the next slippers that I have packed are these simple gray flip-flops and these will be my bathroom and shower flip-flops. So these are the two slippers that I have packed along with the sneakers that I will probably be going there in. Next up, we have a water bottle with a straw. Um, people have said that they, the straw makes it a lot easier to drink from when you're going through labor. And so this is something that I packed. It's just a simple gym water bottle that I use, um, but this was the next thing on the list. The next thing that was packed was a bunch of snacks. So these snack packets just include snacks that me and my husband both like. They include cashew bars, granola bars, lemon blueberry bars. Um, they include these mini made good granola minis, which I really, really like. And I have them in two flavors. I have them in chocolate banana and chocolate chip. And they also include another cashew bar in here. So basically it's just a bunch of snacks that me and my husband like. The hospital does have a Tim Hortons that's located on site, um, but I'm not sure if it's 24 hours and I feel like COVID may have changed some things. So I don't wanna rely on that. Um, so I made sure to pack us some snacks. All right, next up are all the toiletries that I decided to take with me. And I have them packed in a, another bag that I have right over here, but this is the last bag that I have. In here, I have packed a hairbrush. I have packed some maxi pads. Um, I packed in lotion that I really like to wear. Um, I packed our toothbrushes that just go into this simple case. I packed a set of shampoo and conditioner. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be needing to shower there, but just in case I do, I wanted to make sure that I had shampoo and conditioner on hand. So I just packed these two that I had lying around. And I packed this entire little tiny bag that has all the extra toiletries in it. Okay, so let's go through what I have packed in this compartment. So in here, I have packed the Freedom Mom Perry bottle. Everybody online raved about this, and I just felt like this was one of the things that I have I had to have. 
and so it's a simple peri bottle you know you fill it up with water and because you can't wipe or do anything intense down there after birth this one really helps you just clean up the area it has a really nice angled spout as well i know the hospital does provide you with a peri bottle but i think the angle of that peri bottle is not as nice as this one um, because this one is angled really well to just make sure everything is clean and so i'm really glad i got it Next up, I have a very tiny postpartum kit in here, which I think I might need. So in here, I have cooling gel nipple pads. I have nipple covers. I have lanolin, which is supposed to protect sore and dry nipples. And I also have disposable underwear from Freedom Mom as well. Again, these are things I may not need based on how things go, but I wanted to make sure that I had them on hand. I packed some deodorant. Now this is men's deodorant, but I liked how it smells, so both me and my husband can use it. I have some wet ones packed in here. I packed my face cream in here, which is the Ole Henriksen Brightening Gel Cream. I love using this on a daily basis, so I just packed an extra one that I had. I made sure to pack some dry shampoo in case I don't feel like taking a shower. So I have a tiny living proof um, dry shampoo bottle. I have some extra ponytails as well as a Ziploc with my makeup. So I packed this just in case I wanted to freshen up to take pictures. Nobody will be visiting us in the hospital. They're not allowed to. It's only me and my husband. Um, but in case I wanted to take pictures, which I most likely will, I wanted to make sure I had something on hand that would allow me to touch up my face and not look awful. And so this is what I packed. Oh, I forgot to mention, I also have packed a belly band. So this one I actually purchased off of Amazon and I purchased it because um, I was having really severe pelvic pain and um, my midwife told me that if I purchase a belly band, it would help me lift up some of the weight off of my pelvis. Um, and I've also seen people pack this post-pregnancy as well, so they're for their postpartum period. And I think it kind of just like helps support everything um, once you're done giving birth. And so I packed in a belly band as well as some disposable um, garbage bags. So this will be for anything soiled in case I have like soiled clothes or if I have soiled socks or underwear or whatever, they will go in these garbage bags. Oh, hello. All right, so I'm gonna insert a clip of a flat lay that includes all of the toiletries that I have packed and labeled. That way um, everything's kind of just in one place. So for electronics, not everything is packed in my hospital bag because I am still currently using some of the things at home, but I'll go through what I have in my hospital bag and then I will also tell you guys what I will be packing in there. Here I have packed my Insta-X Mini and I've also packed some refills for it. Um, because nobody else is really allowed in there with us, I wanted to make sure I packed my tripod stand um, just so that I can take a picture of the three of us together. So for the electronic items that are not in my bag yet but I still need to pack, I have the iPad. I have AirPods, I have long chargers, as well as my husband's Kobo, which is his e-reader, um, and all of those things will go into the bag as we leave. This wasn't in my hospital bag, but I forgot to mention that I also packed two extra king pillows. Um, this will just be going in the trunks of our car and we'll just get it when we're there. So both of the pillows that I'm packing are extra pillows that I have. And so I won't have to worry about washing them right away when I come home because these are just the extra ones that are lying around. So I made sure to pack two extra pillows as well as a blanket. Okay, and that is what I have packed for my hospital bag. I feel like I was pretty scattered all throughout this video, but I'm hoping I have edited it in a way that makes sense. I know in the beginning of the video, I did say that I was trying to be more minimal in terms of my packing, but as I was taking things out, all I could think was like, this is not minimal at all. But I feel like, again, these are the necessities that I need. And I know with everything that I have packed, it's not things that... I won't be using. I hope this video was helpful for all of you. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.